Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Monday, July 21st. The stock market posted a slight no loss near the unchanged mark on Monday. A rise in oil prices and a steep drop in shares of two major pharmaceutical companies overshadowed a better than expected earnings report from one of the world's largest financial firms. Bank of America reported a 43% drop in earnings per share to 72 cents. However, the result easily topped Wall Street's forecast of 53 cents per share due to a lower than expected write down of $1.2 billion. The bank's CEO said he plans to recommend that the board leave the quarterly dividend unchanged at 64 cents per share. The financial sector climbed 2.8% shortly after the opening bell, but settled with a loss of 0.9% following some profit-taking efforts after last week's 11.4% surge. In corporate news, pharmaceutical companies Merck and Shearing Plow tumbled to 6.1% and 11% respectively due to continued concerns over the cholesterol drug Vitorin. The companies delayed their earnings reports until after the market closed to discuss a report that said Vitorin does not lower the risk of major heart valve problems. European pharmaceutical company Roche Holdings offered to acquire the remainder of Genentech for $43.7 billion or $89 per share in cash. Roche already owns a 56% stake in Genentech. Shares of Genentech traded higher than the offer price on speculation that Roche will have to raise its bid. Yahoo and activist investor Carl Icahn have reached an agreement regarding their pending proxy contest. Under the deal, Icahn will be appointed to the board and two more seats will be filled from a list of nine candidates recommended by Icahn. In turn, Icahn will withdraw his nominees for vote at the annual meeting. Three of the ten economic sectors posted a gain today. Energy stocks up 2.9% led the way as crude prices climbed 2.1% to 131.56 per barrel. The advance in oil prices came as a tropical storm entered the Gulf of Mexico. Consumer discretionary down 1.3%, healthcare down 1.2%, and financials down 0.9% were the main laggards. On the economic front, June leading indicators fell one-tenth of one percent, which was in line with expectations. For the most part, the report is a collection of previously announced economic indicators, and as a result, it had a limited impact on the stock market. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening, and have a good evening.